In field work nowadays, it's quite easy to obtain good results in photometry. This is important for systematic environmental monitoring. New obligations arise from regulations such as the European Water Framework Directive to comply with limit values. For field measurement, a portable lab like this is very handy. It contains everything one needs for testing. This colorimeter uses less power due to the LED optics. Here are pipettes, a pH probe, test tubes and all sorts of accessories, like batteries, a screwdriver and several vials. My tip for field work is to laminate the analysis procedures and to take only a small number of reagents with you to avoid their deterioration, which could cause faulty readings. In flowing water, one takes the sample from the laminar flow and not from near the bank. A sample from near the bank would contain matter from the bank and the results would not be representative. In situ, it is enough to filter the sample using a fluted filter to remove suspended solids. Suspended solids would affect the subsequent reading because of settling behavior or scatter light effects. Important parameters for environmental monitoring are ammonium, nitrate and phosphate. Fertilizers, for example, are one source of potential pollutions. We're going to perform a phosphate test and pipette a 10 milliliter sample into each vial. It is recommended to perform a duplicate reading so that any rogue readings can be detected. Powder pillows are ideal for field work since they can be poured directly into the samples. Shake vigorously for 10 to 15 seconds. It doesn't matter if some of the powder remains undissolved in the vial, it does not disturb the reading in this case. Reaction time is two minutes. If the sample is very cold, we have to wait a little longer, otherwise the readings could be too low. Now we put the vial into the meter and using program 306, we start the phosphate reading. We get a result of 0 0.07 mg phosphate, which is very low and means that the water quality is good. It is also possible to use 16 mm cuvettes with this colorimeter. Simply switch the adapter position put in the cuvette and start the measurement. In fish farming, important parameters are free ammonia and nitrite, as they can be poisonous for fish. We can use this meter to carry out a combined ammonium and pH measurement, thereby determining the free ammonia in the sample. The samples will now be taken to the lab for further analysis. They need to be transported under cool and dark conditions in order to prevent any microbiological activity. In the lab, the samples can be examined with a thermal digestion to investigate nutrient balance.